Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Leroy94 back again with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther Wave 2. This is the M'Baku Build-A-Figure Wave. We're looking at Eric Killmonger. So through the window packaging, you can see he's displayed there with his accessories along with the head of the Build-A-Figure along with with also a accessory piece pretty standard packaging there's the art on the side and in the back side we get the rest of the wave there they actually included the pictures of uh, the actual actor at least for uh, claw and I, I guess everybody else yeah so it's not the picture of the figure which is interesting uh, but that's about it so in case you guys were curious you guys can pick up the entire wave at bigbadtoystore.com links are down below uh, so check it out. So here's a closer look at that tribal mask he comes with. And it's pretty nicely detailed. Got the sculpt there. And a lot of colors. With a like, pinkish red. Little green. Brown. With the, the bluish color. I mean it's just a mixture of colors here. And it looks good. I think they did a good job with it. It's decent. The way it goes on is just it goes right onto his face. Uh, so nothing too too com complicated here you just put it on there and there you go you can't see it now but you can actually see his uh, eyes through the really holes when you get more lighting but in person I can see the eyes looking through the, the eye holes of the mask then we get an assault rifle with a under barrel grenade launcher there uh, all in black no uh, no extra colors or anything but the scopes there looks good got the scope on and everything and then lastly, we get a pistol. So, all black as well. And that's it for his accessories. Now, going on to the Build-A-Figure piece, we get M'Baku's head. That looks pretty decent. And then his staff here. And there he is, all ready to go. I must say, though, this is probably the best figure in the wave. Closer look at the figure real quick. We can see he does come with a molded-on pistol on his side hip. Uh, the molded-on grenades there. On the other side, just extra magazines for his rifle. Got a molded on knife on the back. So, uh, not a big fan of the molded on stuff. Especially when it comes to a knife and a gun. They could have easily just made a holster for the gun he comes with already. Or just uh, giving him a, a knife that comes out. And you can holster it because they've done that before. It's nothing new. So, weird that sometimes they choose to do that. But, overall, the look of it looks great. It looks just like the way he did in the movie so that's good his face looks like him i think it's okay it's not a hundred percent in my opinion but it's a it's a decent head sculpt for uh for killmonger the head will swivel 360 degrees of course it's a ball jointed hinge it's gonna look down it's gonna look up uh, the arms will go forward and back in and out there's a bicep swivel double jointed elbows swivel at the wrist with a hinge we get an ab crunch and a waist swivel T-jointed legs at the groin, so going forward and back, in and out this far. We get thigh swivels, double jointed knees. We don't get a boot cut, but we do get a ankle hinge, and then an ankle pivot. All right, in terms of size comparison, or just a comparison completely next to the previous Killmonger, this is from the first wave, the one where he's suited as the Black Panther, of course. And look at the difference there. This one actually did not come with a unmasked head. It was the two-pack version that came with it. And so I don't have it in hand right now to compare the faces with. Uh, but I can compare the two Killmongers here. And you can just see uh, how slim and skinny -er he is in the suited version. Compared to how bulky and almost armored like. Uh, like he's wearing a lot of armor on the military outfit here. Which he is, so I guess that makes sense. He's a little bit more bulkier. And this is the Black Panther from the first wave as well. Just getting him next to Killmonger. And you can just see the height difference there. I, I don't know how accurate this is, but maybe this uh, version of Killmonger here is a little bit more uh, bigger in scale than, than the other figures. Because he looks a lot bigger here. Almost a little out of scale, if you ask me. Because I don't think he's that big. <laughs> Compared to Black Panther here. Now next to some other movie figures. I'll throw in some random ones. We got Star-Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And Killmonger still has a little more 
a height over him. All right, and before I close it out, just want to show you guys that, of course, he does hold his weapons uh, firmly and tight, so it's not going to fall off. Some figures don't hold them tight, so I got to show this. So both hands are holding both weapons perfectly there, so that's good to know. And that's all he comes with, and that's all he has to offer. So that's it for the review. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and as always, have a great day. Bye.